Hello, this is Gladys. Hello, Gladys. Well, looky who's here. It's Ellen. Hi. How you doing? Well, Floyd's decided to make dinner tonight, so he's smoking a brisket. Oh. <laughs> I, I heard you saying leave it. So was that you were talking to Floyd? Well, honey, you got to smoke it with oak wood. Mesquite burns way too hot and too fast. Uh-huh. And the man needs to leave well enough alone. He pokes at it way too much. Just let it be. Uh-huh. But is, I'm happy to hear from you. I'm happy to talk to you. So is he leaving it be now? I gotta watch him. All right. Well, try to watch him. And I want to talk to you because I'm getting tons of emails and people are saying uh, we want to know more about Gladys. So I'm I'm calling you and I'm going to ask you directly. Okay? Well, that's wonderful. Good. And you've been okay? Honey, I've just been wonderful, and thank you for asking. Oh, good. Oh, good. Uh, all right. This is from Beth Cullum in Bel Air, Maryland. Please go visit Gladys. She just makes my day when you call her, although someone close to me thinks Gladys can't be real, and is it just someone on your staff, but I believe. Gladys, they say, are you real? Well, that's funny. I, I can tell you hands down, honey, I'm not on your staff. Uh-huh. You but I enjoy talking to you. What we do reminds me of uh, old radio days. Exactly. That's, that's we hear that. We hear that every now and then. Some people want to know if I'm real, mm. and we get a kick out of it. There was a story about us on the front page here. Uh-huh. I'll mail you a copy. I think I bought about 20 of them. Uh-huh. Because that just doesn't happen every day. Right, right. Now, the grandkids have been reading me email letters. Uh-huh. Oh, really? The people write about me on the computer, and they say the sweetest things. Like I remind them of their grandmother or somebody they love who passed away. Now, those are serious things. Uh huh. So I want to stay a mystery because there's more power to it, and it takes the pressure off of me. Oh, good. Well, <laughs> I, well I, I'll tell you something outright. Laughter and love are real, and that's the truth of it. Who, what's the name of this girl who wrote the letter? Uh, Beth Cullum, I think. Uh, yes, Beth Cullum. Well, Beth, you're a peach. Oh. And if you say you believe in me, then, honey, I believe in you. Uh, and we'll both just keep on keeping on. Exactly. All right. This is from Jillian Duckworth in Salem, Massachusetts. I've noticed that you've been trying out new announcers. I have a suggestion. Why not Gladys? That way we get to hear a little bit of Gladys every single day. So, Gladys, how would you, you know how we hear, you know, here she is now, Ellen DeGeneres. How would you do that if you were introducing me every day? Well, I'd just say it. <laughs> Let me hear it. Well... Now, here's, how's it go again? What? <laughs> it's however you want to say it. How would you say when I'm uh, walking out on stage? How well, would I tell you, this ain't so easy when you're on the spot. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Here she is now, Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah, we've got it. So now we'll try you out. <laughs> this is from Gina Phelps in Durham, North Carolina. Uh, ask Gladys to send in a photo. I, would, I think everybody would love to see what she looks like. Now, I agree with you. I don't uh, know that we need to to see a photo, but what I'd like to do is uh, bring that over. I'm going to have you describe yourself, and I'm going to sketch you, OK? <laughs> now, I'm not really good. I'm going to sit this down, because I can hear you. I'm not really uh, an artist, but can you, can you describe yourself, Gladys? Well, uh, many, many, many years ago, people would sometimes say that I look a little like Ginger Rogers. Oh, OK. But I think as I get older, I probably look more like Roy Rogers. <laughs> but I'm blonde. Uh, long but, hair or short? Short. Uh-huh. But the blonde is thanks to Miss Clarell, number 43, in a box. <laughs> All right. Uh, like a round face, oval? I'm a little round. OK. OK. Uh, big eyes, small? I'd say we're medium. OK. All if right. I put a little mascara on, a little eyelash, they come out pretty good. OK. And what kind of nose? Well, it's changed over the years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But we're about medium-sized nose. Medium-sized nose. And uh, lips full? They're pretty full. OK, big That's round. That's where the Ginger Rogers comes in. OK. <laughs> All right. Um, hey, I've already drawn you. Uh, but How'd I it come out? It, I think it's pretty good. Do you have all your teeth? I'm wearing them. OK. <laughs> I'm not that good of an artist, but when you see the show, you call me and let me know what you think. I've got a short skirt on you. I don't know if that's okay. That's okay. All it's right. summertime. Okay, good. <laughs> well, you started with a dancing thing. I was going to do legs, but all right. Well, Gladys, it's good talking to you, and uh, I'll, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Honey, you call me any old time. Any, any call is a good time from you. All right. You take care and tell Floyd to stop poking at that we thing. We sure will, honey. Thank uh you.